Is that tequila? <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that looks amazing. We're never coming back. We're at Universal City Walk in Orlando, Florida to visit Antojitos, a restaurant that serves authentic and fresh Mexican food. We're going to try everything they have to offer. I love walking around City Walk. It's the epicenter of awesomeness. It's the central hub of Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. There's a large selection of dining, shopping, and entertainment here. The theming of Antojitos is incredible. Very colorful, outside and inside. I love the Volkswagen that's outside, and it's actually an outdoor bar. There's LED lighting and murals all throughout the restaurant. Even a massive square-shaped bar where you can order your favorite margarita or enjoy a shot of mezcal. Take a look at the spacious dining area. Come on and join us at our table. The overflowing pico de gallo or salsa that comes to our table. And you also get a bucket. No, it's not a bucket. It's like a metal bowl filled with chips. Illegal silver mezcal. And I also got the Cadillac margarita. Patron silver tequila. Grand Marnier. Agave nectar and fresh lime juice. Tequila is produced by steaming the agave inside industrial ovens before being distilled. Mezcal is cooked inside earth pits that are lined with lava rocks and filled with wood and charcoal. And then it's distilled in clay pots. Mezcal is clear as water. Oh, oh man, that's freaking strong. <laughs> I don't think I could do the full shot of that. maybe like a little bit more smoky flavor than tequila but it tastes the same it's the same agave plant I might just throw this in the margarita <laughs> uh, pretty nice has a good amount of tequila I don't taste like a difference is it Grand Marnier or it doesn't have it but this is supposedly the elite way to make a margarita. Mm. Pretty tasty. Would have liked maybe some more uh, lime juice, I think. But it's huge. Look at this thing. How many avocados do you put in there? Put two. Two? Yep. Okay. Okay. Some tomatoes, onions, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of green olives, some okay. cilantro, lime, salt, olive oil. How Olives. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen it with olives. It is part of Auntie Lou's recipe. Yeah? It is delicious. It has a good, actually salty flavor, but not too overbearing. Okay. If it's something that's awesome. like... Uh, I guess I add, add a bit. Let's taste it. Definitely, uh... We don't really cook much. Okay. Is everything else okay? Yeah, everything else is good. Yeah. Did you move your steak from medium? You said medium? Medium, yeah. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Thank you, man. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll take them on the side. Just it's my wife's birthday, I don't want to get him pissed off. <laughs> she loves guacamole. Okay, is that tequila? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. So are you the designated guacamole maker? Or does it rotate? <laughs> um, there's about six people, five to six people um, that work in this department. Okay. And, uh, as of right now, it's just two people, so we're kind of small right now. Okay. But, uh, yeah, usually that is just my position. That's what I 
Oh. Do it the entire uh, That's awesome. So. <laughs> anyway. Awesome. All right, table side guac done. Kayla, she was awesome at it. <laughs> she says that is her, basically her role here is to make guacamole. It's amazing. All right, we got the shrimp fritos here, crispy fried shrimp frit, crispy fried shrimp fritters, lime crema, cotilla cheese, pico de gallo, and it looks like a green. Well, tomatillos are green, so it's a tomatillo sauce on there. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. I thought it was full shrimps. But here we go. I like it. It tastes like, um, uh, sort of like if you have dim sum, they have like a shrimp fried ball. It sort of tastes like that. But rather than that like Asian style taste, because it is Chinese cuisine of course, it has, um, I don't know what spice it is, but there's like a little flavor there with the shrimp. I don't know what that is, but it tastes good. Uh, cilantro. Cilantro. It tastes like cilantro. Mm. Uh, all right, guys, we just got the queso fundido. Look at this beauty right here. Wow, that looks amazing. F, that looks amazing. This is queso menonita, chorizo, ancho spice, and we got corn tortillas and uh, I like that they give us a little silicone handle because this thing is piping hot all right let's try this I know exactly what to do in emergency situations when there is queso fundido right in front of you you grab the chorizo and you squish you pinch and you stretch wow 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 Look at this. This is really what you're supposed to end up with. A lot of, a lot of that menonita queso, salsa, a guacamole, and this is it. Oh, it's got the Mexican chorizo, which I love. I'm a huge fan of it. First time trying queso fundido. I never had this before. See how it tastes. It looks, it's gorgeous, of course. Wow. Wow. The queso, fundido, the salsita, the guacamole. This is lovely, lovely. You have to experience this once in your life. Oh my God, wow. Wow, the more I eat it, the more I want more. <laughs> I absolutely love this. All right guys, we got our full spread here. This is the trio. This is the chile relleno. This is the pork. Cochinita tamal. Look at this. It's beautiful. And this is the enchiladas verde. Wow. And it comes with a side of rice and beans. Take a look at the whole plate here. All right, this is the tacos campechano. This has carne asada, chorizo, chicharrón, salsa verde onions and cilantro you get three of these it looks like a little salsa roja and a side this one's refried beans and rice wow look at the they got the whole plate all right this is the carne asada fajitas this is marinated with tequila it's got grilled peppers and onions underneath there you can see it right there i love me some carne asada can't wait to dig into this one. I'm gonna make my wife her amazing fajita. So we got the flour tortilla. We're gonna get this queso fundido. So we grab a little of the queso, the chorizo, and then we're gonna grab some of the some of the steak. Look at that. With some of the onions. So we put some guacamole. Okay, we got some guacamole on there. Go to Mount, she likes extra guac. A little of the salsa now. Okay, all right, now we're talking. So this is how you eat a fajita. 
right here. You're not eating it like this? I don't know what you're doing. You gotta get some tips from Mexican Papa. Mmm. It's super rico. Rico. This is a tamal right here with the beef machaca. Curious. Wow, thank you. Nice tamal. Nice beef, nice and tender. Right there. Get a big chunk of the beef. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, nice. That beef is nice. Tender. It's like they braised it and then they put it on like a flat grill. Let it crisp up a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, let's try one of these enchiladas. Enchiladas with salsa verde. <laughs> mm. I love the sauce they put on top. Delicious. That makes the whole meal. Pork. Pork is tender too. Ooh, that's delicious. Yeah. Rice and beans. Lunch all lime rice. Pretty good. But this is parboiled rice. So if you're not used to that or you don't like that kind of rice, you won't enjoy this rice. I don't like it. I don't mind it. Although I'm not a picky eater. Alright, let's try the Campechana tacos. Man, I've been waiting for this one. I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> Whoa, wow, 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 wait a minute. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, wow. I think this is my favorite out of the bunch. The chicharrón, the carne asada, the Mexican chorizo. Got everything. All right, guys, we ordered the fried ice cream, and it comes with a little chocolate fondue here. A little chocolate syrup. It comes with a churro too. I didn't expect that. I had no idea. Surprise churro. <laughs> I love that. And here's the fried ice cream. It looks amazing. Wow, look at all that vanilla ice cream in there. Okay, can't wait to taste this. What are we going to try first? I want the churro first actually. Let's see. Nice looking churro. Hmm. That's a pretty nice churro. Is it fresh? I don't know. Tastes really good though. Tastes really good. Like ice cream with granola. Almonds. It's not as crunchy as you would think though. It's just kind of like an outer layer. Not I don't know if it's supposed to be crunchy or the next tomorrow. Still delicious. And I love the added churro. Surprise churro. Done here. We're never coming back. Is this clickbait? <laughs> Wait, this is super funny. Why? We totally do. We're never coming back here again. We're never coming back it's here again. It's too addictive. It's too good. I'm gonna get too fat. Yo me gustó más la fajita. La fajita me gustaron más. La carne estaba suavecita. It was a good experience. Um, I enjoyed the fried ice cream. I liked the crust. It was nice. Although, uh, maybe a tad too sweet if you added too much chocolate syrup. Speaking from experience, of course. If you're gonna come here, you're gonna try one thing. Tacos Campechano, get the table side guac, get the queso fundido, eat the Mexican food, like Mexi Papa says, or does. <laughs> and make sure you follow his channel and follow mine too. All right, I don't know where we're going next. 
where we're gonna end up. We'll see what happens. All right. Don't forget to eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs>